a group of visitors on a trip to Bonn and back through history. What used to be the West German Chancellor's residence, complete with cabinet table, now resembles a museum. But this is no Cold War relic. There's still plenty of government activity here. The Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development, for example, has its operations split between Bonn and Berlin. Well, if I were government, I would like to have all my ministries at the same place, so it's easy for coordination. We have to be as efficient as you can, and if it's more efficient to put it into one centre, there's no reason why, we should, why you should keep it here. Bonn had been the de facto capital of West Germany during the Cold War. In 1994, it was decided that Berlin would be the capital of reunified Germany. A special compromise act was passed, sharing government between the two cities. Six ministries are still headquartered in Bonn, but the real decision-making is made in Berlin. Of course, you can question things 20 years later. Laws aren't made for eternity. But it's been good for those 20 years. If we want to change it, we'll have to amend the law. And his opinion? I have no plans to seize the initiative. I'm now finance minister. Plus, I'd say I've already done my share towards the Bonn-Berlin debate in my time as a politician. Wolfgang Schäuble, then interior minister, played a major role in re-establishing Berlin as the German capital. I don't see this as a contest between Bonn and Berlin. With all respect, this is not about jobs, relocation costs, regional and economic policy. All of those things are important. But the decisive issue is the future of Germany. Schäuble promised to keep the majority of ministerial staff in Bonn, helping to sway opinion among those in the city who were against the move. And 10 years ago, some 54% of government workers were indeed still in Bonn. Today, however, the figure has shifted to 61% in Berlin and 39% in Bonn. That change has come about by the government allowing officials to move east for personal reasons. We give a lot of staff the option of choosing which city they want to work in because of their family, friends and their social lives. Some current members of parliament were just children when the Bonn Berlin Act was passed. They tend to see the compromise agreement as outdated. I don't see the need for a special law. The facts on the ground are that most ministries are physically based in Berlin. Over time, the issue will resolve itself. But there's still resistance in Bonn. The city's mayor wants to see the old agreements upheld. We are seeing a clear decline in ministry jobs. This breaches the provisions of the Berlin Bonn Act. You can't just do it in a roundabout way and leave it to demographic changes. It has to be discussed, as required by the law. The Bonn region hasn't done that badly in the last 20 years, receiving one and a half billion euros in compensation. Bonn is the United Nations base in Germany and has seen new government agencies and corporations relocate to the city. We can confront the people who insist strictly on the Bonn Berlin Act with that changing situation. So maybe one day it will be possible to come to agreement on new developments on more reasonable terms. Does Bonn really still need those ministries? For some, the answer is a resounding no. It all costs money and also complicates operations. It simply doesn't add up. It's time for a transition. All ministries should be in Berlin. Easier said than done. The pro bonn faction remain opposed to a complete relocation, as they did 20 years ago. There's no reason to move all the ministries to Berlin. And the decision back then against Bonn and in favour of Berlin was very close. That majority would never have happened had it not been for those promises to keep important ministries in Bonn too. 
Among the International Visitor Group too, there seems to be plenty of sympathy for a two-city solution. Maybe it's good to have something in Bonn. Uh, maybe they should have had two capitals instead of one. It's nice to have several uh, centers so not everything goes to Berlin, but actually international visitors can also come here and contribute for the Bonn city as well. Almost 25 years after the fall of the Berlin Wall, reunified Germany's government is still physically divided.